today we're going to do our last lesson um, for chapter four before we take a test. And so what we're going to do is we are going to look at some stoichiometry, specifically of precipitation reactions. Stoichiometry of precipitation. So there's really just one thing that we are going to um, add to our knowledge of stoichiometry with this chapter. <clears throat> so you know stoichiometry, you know how to write a mole ratio. Um, so we're going to apply it now to precipitation reaction. Okay, so the question we've got today is calculate the mass of solid sodium chloride. So calculate the mass. of solid sodium chloride. That must be added to 1.50 liters of a 0 0.100 molar lead to nitrate solution to precipitate all the lead to ions to precipitate all situation. We have one and a half liters of lead to nitrate. And let's just say that um, we need to get rid of it. And we can't pour it down the drain. Um, pouring it down the drain is completely inappropriate because it's lead to. And so um, one way that we could deal with this problem, right, with lead to ions so that we don't pour them down the drain, is um, we could add something to it. In, in this case, sodium chloride. We can add sodium chloride to it, the solution, and do what with all those lead ions? Precipitate them out. Precipitate them out so that they fall to the bottom we can then pour off all the solution knowing that our lead too is all bound up in a precipitate at the bottom. And then we've got this small amount of solid that we need to dispose of. But that's a whole lot better than having one and a half liters of a liquid that we can't pour down the drain. So that would be a context in which we might want to do this problem. Okay. So we need to know how much sodium chloride we need to add to it to get all of those lead to ions precipitated out of solution. Okay, just like any other stoichiometry problem, <clears throat> we need to start with a balanced equation. So we have got, we are going to have a reaction between sodium chloride and lead to nitrate. So we have NaCl. And in this case, it's going to be a solid. And it's going to react with lead 2 nitrate, PbNO3, 2. And that's an aqueous solution. Now, what I'd really like you to do is pause the movie right now and write the products for these two. That's what I'd really like you to do. And if you were in class, that's what I'd make you do. Um, Awesome. All right, so we're going to have a double replacement. We're going to make some sodium nitrate, and that's aqueous, plus one, negative one. And we're going to make 
make some lead two chloride, PbCl2, and this is going to be my salt. This is going to be my precipitate. We know this isn't because we've got two daily states here. All right, um, negative one charge, positive two. That's why I've got two of them. All right, let's balance this thing. So I've got two, and I've got two, and that's it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you guys. There's my balanced equation. Now, I am trying to get to grams of sodium chloride. That's going to be in my numerator at the end of this dimensional analysis that we're going to do. So, what am I given? Ooh, look at this. We're starting with a given that we have not started with before. So, this is really the new thing to the stoichiometry here. Okay, we've got 1.1 molar lead to nitrate. So, that's what we're going to start with. 0 0.100 moles of what? Lead to nitrate. PB. NO3 2 per liter. Okay, because molarity, of course, is moles per liter. Alrighty, and how much of it do we have? We have 1.5 liters.
times 58.45. And that will give me 17.